Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video, we will explain how to route sounds from the Machine 2 plugin to single audio tracks in Logic Pro 10. This setup allows you to tweak Logic's track parameters, such as volume and panorama, as well as adding effects to individual sounds rather than an entire group or master. First, load an instance of Machine 2 into the input of a software instrument track. Make sure you select the multi-output version of Machine 2 rather than the stereo audio unit. Next, in Machine, make sure the Load Patterns button is activated and load a drum kit in Group A. Lower Machine's output volume and press play to hear what we just loaded. Now, assign the sounds in Machine to their own individual output channels. To do this, make sure that the Sound tab is selected. Click the Channel icon button and choose Output. Select the first sound you want to route. In our example, it's the kick drum. In the Audio tab, under Destination, choose External 1. Apply the above steps to all other machine sounds you want to route to separate channels in Logic Pro 10, selecting a different output for each sound. So, for our second sound, which is a snare, select External 2. For the third sound, which is a closed hi-hat, External 3, and so on. Now, we've routed all the Machine sounds to their own individual output channels. Close your Machine instance and open Logic Pro 10's Mixer. You can toggle the Mixer view by clicking the Mixer icon or by pressing X on your keyboard. Then, click the plus icon in the bottom right side of the software instrument track, hosting Machine. Every click will add an auxiliary track. Keep clicking until you have 15 of them. Lower the stereo out level, as now all of your machine group and master levels and effects are bypassed. This means your machine sounds may have different volumes and sound different as the signals are routed directly. Now, when you press play, you can see all of your machine sounds coming out of separate tracks in Logic Pro 10. The machine sound assigned to external one, our kick drum, is sending its audio to the software instrument track hosting the machine instance. The machine sound assigned to external two, our snare, is sending its audio to auxiliary one. The machine sound assigned to external three, our closed hi-hat, is sending its audio to auxiliary two, and so on. If you solo one of them, you only hear the sound assigned to it. To demonstrate how to process channels independently in Logic Pro 10, we are loading a reverb plugin into the auxiliary track containing the snare sound. Now you can hear how this single sound is being affected by the reverb plugin. Feel free to add more effects to your tracks or try out different mixes by adjusting the volume and panorama in Logic Pro 10.